Okay, so this video we're going to be making our bead caps like this um, to put on the beaded bottle cap keychains. So this is just a couple of different ones that I've made. They're each just a little bit different. Um, so we'll move those out of the way. What you need are some head pins and they come in so many different varieties. Um, let me show you some. This one just has a little round end there. Nope, this is my flat one, sorry. It's flat on the end like a nail. There you go. Um, this one is really fancy on the end. See there? And then this is a smaller version, I believe, of, of that same design. And this one here has just the ball on the end there. Hope you can see that okay. They come in different lengths, as you can see. Um, so you can tell that this bead set that we're making, it's not very long, and you could get shorter head pins for this. But I have found the shorter the head pin, the harder it is to manipulate uh, and get it twisted the way you need to, like up here, uh, to make your stem. So I usually get just the full length uh, ones. This is about as short as I would go. Lots and lots of different bead varieties. I'm going to be making orange and white, as you can see. Um, I'm from Tennessee, and it's almost time for football to start. We've got about two weeks left, I guess. Um, these are called bead caps, I believe, and the bead it just sits down in them like that when you put them on the head pin. These are rondelles, and they look like little crystals or diamonds are in there, and they come in all different sizes and colors. And then I've got some silver spacer beads here. So let's get started and move these things out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to grab any old head pin, and this is the one that has the nail, uh, flat nail there. Now you want to you want to use a variety of beads and do a variety of lengths, in my opinion. So. And sometimes your beads, the hole in the middle will be bigger than this is right here. So it's always good to start small on the end. So I have this little clear, it's called a bicone, that I'm putting on first. And then I'm going to go big with a round orange bead there. And then I'm just going to cap it off with another one of those clear by cones and they're kind of hard to see where their hole is so you want to be in a bright light so that's all we're going to put on this one okay so you can see I went ahead and made up several uh, bead stems there because the next part is uh, the the more tricky part of the process uh, which is making the little loop here now, if you've made jewelry before, chances are you've done this a hundred times already. But if not, then just try to pay really close attention. You may have to rewind the video a couple times to really see what's what's happening. Uh, but I promise once you get it, uh, it'll be, you know, just something that you do really quickly. And you don't have to put much thought into. So, for this part, you want to grab one of your bead stems. And they're all done the same way and your round nose pliers and you grab your um, bead stem like that and the first thing you're going to do is fold over the top at about a 90 degree angle okay like that and you can see I have left just a little bit of room maybe a centimeter um, there between the top of my bicone and where I've bent it over here and then you want to keep going 
bending it down and then I turn my pliers this way to where they're at the top of that U shape that we've made there and then we've got the hat pin head pin straight down and you want to keep curling it around until you get up to the top like that and you've got the head pin crossing just at the top of the bicone there. So that's what it looks like right now. And then you want to keep coming on around and just twist a couple times. Now mine is not a, a true circle there. It's a little bit more of an oval, but for our keychain purposes, it's not a big deal at all. So. Okay, so we're going to use the same motion, the same process as when we made our other head pins. We're going to bend that at a 90 degree angle and then just keep twisting it around until you have a circle. I hope you can see that. There, that's what it looks like. Almost like if you're tying a knot with thread. Okay. Put it back on here. And keep wrapping that little end that sticks out there on around and then use your flat nose pliers to crimp it together before you take it off so you have a little circle there then you want to put your large bead on and then we need to make our loop for the top that one's so big and there's still some room left over I think I'm going to put a bicone on the end Let's see if I have enough to wrap after I get it on ah, so hard to see the holes I keep going out of the frame. I think that one's defective. There we go. Now we'll make the circle at the top. And this one you'll have to go a little closer because I don't have a lot to play with here. So bend it over and just cross over at the top of the bicone bead and I've just about run out of wire I don't really have room to do any wrapping so we're going to use the flat nose pliers to help twist that on around there So there's our little loop at the bottom. It needs to be crimped a little more so it doesn't get stuck on anything. Okay, so there's our base. I'll lay it to the side for a minute. Now we'll use the uh, head pin that looks like it has the nail head on it. 
For this next part you're using, you're needing whatever little dangle bead you're going to use and a head pin that has the uh, nail head on it. So you'll just thread your little bead on there and then get your around nose pliers and go close to the end of the head pin like that. Go ahead and wrap to where you have that 90 degree angle plus a little more. Just like that. And then you want to take your bead that you started with and if you notice that mine changed colors, very good. Um, I cut the wire on the last one and it went flipping across the room down my air conditioner vent. So, now, see how I have the dangle inside the loop portion there? That's how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to turn it back around and insert my pliers in to where the dangle is still dangling there. And then wrap. my head pin around between that white piece like that. So see how we have the dangle there? And then you'll cut off the excess. Be careful when you're cutting that you're only cutting the excess or you will chop off part of your dangle. I've done that many times. So that's what that looks like. And I'll do it one more time for you. Okay, so flat head pin with the nail top. Nail top there. Little tiny white bead. That. Get up way close. To your bead there to your 90 degree so we have the 90 degree angle plus a little bit and then you want to put your primary bead on and again you want to make sure that the dangle stays in the middle of that bend there and get your pliers back where they go and continue wrapping on top of the white bead. So now you have two beads in the dangle and then you'll cut off the excess once again. That's what it looks like.